somebody asked me a while ago what the difference between a static method and an instance method was. So I thought I would do a little demo of uh, the uses and differences between the two. So we're going to create a console application. Uh, and in the console application, we'll create a customer class that has uh, both a static method uh, and an instance method. And then we'll create a uh, instance property uh, and we'll get the value of that instance property from the instance method and then we'll attempt to get the value from the static method. So let's go ahead and create that project and we'll call it static versus instance. And we won't bother putting it in source control for this demo. Outside of that program class, we'll create another class called customer. And in that customer class, we'll create a couple of methods. One method we will call instance method. Won't accept any arguments, and for now, it will simply return hello from the instance method of the customer class. And then we'll create another method. static method this time called static method and this static method will return same thing hello from the static method of the customer class All right, so now up here in our main method, we'll first call our static method. We'll first we'll write static method, so we know where this is coming from. And then we'll do a console dot write line, and we'll write the return of customer.static method. And then console.write line and we'll tell it this is from the instance method. And then we'll create an instance of the customer class. Store it in the variable called cust. Set that equal to a new customer object. And then we can console dot write line and write out the return of cust and then calling the instance method. Notice, by the way, that the static method doesn't even show up when we look at IntelliSense and get a list of the available methods for this instance. Since we created an instance of the customer class, only the instance method appears. Uh, by the same token, if we go up here and look at the customer class, when we have not yet created an instance of it, and we look at IntelliSense, only the static method shows up. So the static method is available when you have not yet created an instance of the class. Once you've created an instance of the class and stored it in a variable, only the instance method will be visible. Yeah, let's go ahead and run that. Oops, in order to run that and actually see anything happening, we need to start without debugging. That showed up on my second screen here, so here you go. Static method, hello from the static method of the customer class. And instance method, hello from the instance method of the customer class. Now, to illustrate the... Uh, the difference in uh, capabilities here, let's create a property. 
create a property using the prop full code snippet. And we'll set the data type of our property to string. And the name of our property will be what to say. What to say. And uh, just to make sure we're comparing apples to apples, as we declare the variable, we'll set it equal to string.empty. But in our instance method here, we will check to see if the variable what to say equals string.empty. And if it does, then we return the default value from our instance method. Else, we return whatever the what to say variable is set to. Now let's attempt that same thing down here in our static method. If what to say, uh-oh, the what to say variable isn't showing up in IntelliSense. Well, what if we type it out exactly matching the declaration and say if that equals string.empty, then do that. Else, return the what to say variable. Now clearly IntelliSense is telling us what's wrong here. If we try to run this, we're going to get a big fat compile error because our static method does not have access to the instance property, our what to say property, or its private local variable that stores the what to say property. In essence, the static method only has access to what's between the open uh, curly brace and the closed curly brace of the static method. Anything declared outside of that is not accessible by the static method. So let's get rid of that if statement and the results of the if statement, and then we'll run our code. Debug, start without debugging. And now we have from our static method, hello from the static method of the customer class, our instance method, hello from the instance method, and we forgot to add a call to instance method with arguments. So console.writeLine instance with arguments. And then we'll do cust dot what to say equals and hello world. Can't have a programming demo without at least one hello world, so there it is. And then we'll do console dot write line and we'll show the results of cust dot instance method now that we've set the property. Debug, start without debugging. And there you have it. Uh, static method, instance method, and instance with arguments. Instead of just hello from the instance method of the customer class, it says hello world. So in this demonstration, uh, we saw how you can create a static method that you can call without creating an instance of a class, and how you can create an instance method, which you can then use other values from properties or other methods of an instance of a class to do a more complex operation. Thanks for watching. button down below. Also be sure to check out one of the related videos off to the side over here. If you really enjoyed it, you can help out by sharing the video on Facebook or Twitter. Encourage your friends to subscribe. Thanks again.